You say yes. Why do you think the answer is yes? I don't know. It might, does it work like the y equals mx plus c, if you, even though you have the square number? Huh. OK. So you're suggesting that because like we already sort of thought these are in the same family of functions like these guys, these are not parabolas, but it does work with this, right? Like we read off b or c, c. We read that off as the y-intercept. We can do that, right? Why can't we do it here? So there's a suggestion, Zaki. Oh, I was going to suggest uh, what I thought. Yeah, no, you go ahead. Yeah. Uh, I was thinking, once we work out what the x's are, can't we make them zero and solve for y? Once we work out what the x's, the x's are, are, when you say work out what the x's are, do you mean these guys? Intercepts. Yes. Um, well, we, I, I seem to remember some method of just negating them, making them zero, and solving for y. Huh. So, yeah, that's what I was saying. Zaki's talking about making oh, yeah. oh, the yeah. x's yeah. zero, and then solving for y. So, y so you've got a whole bunch of x's here, right? So x yeah. equals two. Rastan, what, what are you thinking now? Whenever we make x zero, the whole answer is going to be zero for y. Uh, the whole answer is going to be the last one for y, because the other things are going to be zero. Like, it's going to... Those x's are going to be equal to 0, yeah, so y is equal to minus 5. If everything is 0, <laughs> the last number, which yeah. you told us the y intercept, is yep. going to be the uh, answer. Huh, yeah. okay. So hold on a second. <laughs> I, I, I do want to point out, the majority of you, not all of you, the majority of you, including Raston, <laughs> downvoted the idea I'm that this was the y intercept, right? You, you changed your mind. You, you were going back and forth, okay? But what you're suggesting is, right? Because, uh, well, you did, you said, right? It's like, you're just, uh, you're, this is not my idea, this is his idea, okay. Um, what we are suggesting, it seems, is uh, if you let y equal zero, you'll find the x-intercepts, won't you, right? Quick question, why does that work? Why does y equal zero? Why does that give you, say, um, let's have a look at this guy. These are the x-intercepts here. Why would y equal zero give you the x-intercepts. I remember being so confused about this when I was, I was like, how, why and x are like swapping around? How does that work? If y equals zero, then we go on to the line. Which yeah, line is Sarang, to, hold on, hold that thought Sarang. Which line is Sarang talking about? The x-axis. The x-axis. That's this one here, right? If there was no axis labeled on the Cartesian plane, right? and you wanted to describe where is the x-axis, what would its equation be? The answer is, the equation of the x-axis is this, isn't it? It's not above, it's not below, it's right smack bang in the middle. Do you agree? So this finds the x-intercepts. Second. So we don't have to hit the x-axis on a parabola, do we? Correct. We, we, we can have like this guy up here, right? So letting y equal zero doesn't always give you solutions, but when you're looking at it from the other point of view, right? When you're finding the y-intercept, you let, this is what you were suggesting, right? You let x, that's a messy x, equals zero. Now what happens to this equation here if x equals zero? Just hold that thought, Russell. You had your thumb up. What do you reckon? What happens when x equals zero? Yeah. Yeah. Zero plus, or zero squared actually, plus five lots of zero minus five and because of what these things are these become they sort of can be disregarded right which is why we can sort of just look at that last number provided of course it's in this nice neat form do you agree if it's in this what is what's the name of this by the way when we have everything like with the squares in order this is, it, it's got a name right it starts with a g you remember? General it's general form, right? That's why we actually like general form. It's one of the useful things about it, okay? So in fact, <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure like a good two-thirds of us said, no, that's wrong. You can't just look at that last number. But if it's in this form, yes. seems like we can. You had what? Oh. Huh. So... That's really interesting. You said a bunch of interesting things there. You said um, like the original parabola, the one we start off all learning, is this guy, right? And where does that, um, where does that sit? Right in the middle. Right in the middle, right? So it's, uh, we have a word for this. It's vertex is at the origin, right? So here it is. Okay. Then you suggested, okay, but this minus five, it's, it's a shift. Isn't it? That's the word that you used. It just moves you up or down. So that intercept there, which used to be at zero, uh, I guess now it will be at 
five, five beneath that, which would be at minus five, right? You said that. Then you said another really interesting thing, which was you said, oh, you can just ignore this. Hmm. What does it do then? Uh, that's a really good question. I'm going to let you all think about that. It seems that, it seems that this works, right? Why can we just ignore this guy? Like, you couldn't ignore it. Like, you're saying, wait, I just arbitrarily decide this one's important, pay attention to this guy, and just ignore him because whatever, right? Why doesn't this? Hmm. That's a, s I'm not going to explain that yet. I'm going to let you think about that, right? Have a think about it because that, um, that raises some really good questions. Okay. Ishan, did you have one last comment you want to have? Yes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Stay, Alex, stay with us. So how can that have a meaning in this context? This? Yeah. No, no, no. How can y equals mx plus c have any meaning in this context, in the context of the context? How can this thing, right, which we were like, oh, cool, you know, like we could do this thing looking at this end spot and get the y-intercept out of it. How can this have anything to do with this context? Because it seems like we're dealing with entirely different objects, doesn't it? Right? Like we're looking at straight things versus curvy things. What is up with that? That's a really good question to ask, and I want you to keep thinking about it. I'm not going to tell you the answer just yet. Okay, can we um, wind things back just a teeny bit? Okay, we got a little bit carried away. We said, we just, <laughs> we haven't even got past the first item. We were trying to find intercepts, right? We said if you want to find the x-intercepts, you let y equals zero. Once you've done that though, you've got to deal with all the rest of the stuff on this side of the equation, right? So you have a choice. You can either factorize if you have been handed nice neat numbers. Sometimes you don't though. You're going to have something with like square roots in it, thirds, etc. So you go to the formula, okay? Um, probably worth quickly jotting down the formula in here, just so we have it for the sake of completeness. Okay, we use the formula to find out the x-intercepts, that's what it tells us. Uh, and then the y-intercepts, I actually wrote this up here, but I should have written it below. To find the y-intercepts, it seems that when we let x equal 0, what lands on the other end is just this last number, the constant. That's all that gets left behind. Okay, so you can find out what the y-intercept is off that, and then you can put that onto your graph. So I'm going to quickly give you, because we've been thinking about it, um, I'm going to actually ask you, let's just take this one. This is a, uh, an equation that's been on the board for a little while. y equals x squared plus 5x minus 5. Um, can you go ahead, find me some x and y intercepts, go ahead, work it out, and then can you draw me, on the basis of just those three pieces of information, can you draw me what that graph looks like? And then we will, after you've had a couple minutes to do that, and I want you to properly draw it, um, then we'll have a look at these two. Can you do that for me? Give you about three minutes.